This week we're going to take a review of USDA's grain stocks report from last week. We're also going to take a look at updated crop conditions and progress as harvest gains momentum here for soybeans. We're going to wrap things up with some ongoing concerns about U.S. soybean export demand. Hi, this is Brian Bastine with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the soybean market. We've moved into the month of October here and we're in full-scale soybean harvest. Before we get into talking about the harvest though, let's take a look at last week's grain stocks report from the USDA. Now the USDA did surprise the market a bit uh, looking at the, the revised update of the U.S. soybean crop at 4.465 billion bushels. Notice earlier in September it was 4.435. Here's the key message we want to highlight. That's a larger than expected crop from 2021 really suggests a little bit more of a cushion in terms of stock levels of soybeans as we start this 22-23 crop year. Let's move on now and talk about soybean crop conditions. We're looking here at our usual map. Obviously, as harvest proceeds, this, this has less and less relevance, but it's still something to briefly look at. Unchanged on good to excellent at 55 percent. Notice last year at this time was 58 percent. A strong regional trend was evident this year. Uh, general deterioration in that western corn belt and general improvement in the eastern corn belt. Let's now take a look at our U.S. Soybean Crop Condition Index unchanged from last week and fractionally above where it was in 2019, but still well below the levels of recent years. This will be a key test this year to see how things such as the genetics as well as fungicide applications may impact our final soybean yields compared to subjective crop condition ratings. Let's take a look at U.S. soybeans harvested. Now as we enter October, we're about 22% harvested. We look for that to accelerate, weather permitting of course, over the next two weeks. On average, about 27% more of the crop is harvested. That would push us near 50% of the crop in mid-October. Speaking of the weather, let's take a look at the short-term trends. Our slides this week, as usual, are courtesy of T-Storm Weather. Now, the headline event this week, as in general for weather, is going to be the much colder temperatures here on Friday and Saturday. Looking at our map here, anything above that blue line will be subjected to a freeze here this weekend. Anything above that purple line will be subjected to a kill, killing frost. So the key message is, fortunately, quite a bit of these beans are mature and safe from frost, but maybe not all of them. US, uh, USDA next Tuesday will provide updates on terms of crop progress and in terms of dropping leaves. We'll take a look at how that compares with how cold these temperatures got this weekend. Let's shift gears now and talk about demand. Let's take a look at year-to-date soybean exports. Well, we've emphasized this recently, but it bears repeating that, that the price of beans, of course, is supply and demand. Notice how low our start to the soybean export program is this year, particularly relative to two, three, uh, four, or five years ago. Here's a key message. U.S. bean shipments to China, our largest importer by far, are off to a painfully slow start of just 14 million bushels versus 18 last year and 116 two years ago. Argentina is capturing some demand and more and more are commenting on the tepid interest in U.S. beans. Is this a lack of domestic demand or competition? We'll monitor this for you very closely this fall. Let's wrap things up this week looking at trends in November soybean futures. Now here we're looking at November 22 futures at about $13.85 a bushel. That's about $3.80 above the five-year average. Now here's not too early to think about 2023. With December tw November 23 soybean futures near 13.65 a bushel, and remember, it's still nearly five months before that crop insurance price is set. The key message: work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to defend your balance sheet. Now, if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us at 800-664-2321. We'll put you in contact with one of our risk management consultants who'll be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we upload every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss an upload. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.